Yo, what's up guys? This is Drew here, or uh, Mr. Juggercock. I got a good gameplay for you guys today. It is free for on the map Yemen using the Vector KD with Laser Sight, uh, Fast Mag, and Foregrip, I think. I'm not too sure about that, but this isn't the best gameplay. It's a 30 and 6 game, uh, but I wasn't going to upload it uh, due to the fact that I had 6 deaths. And But I got kind of tired, and I was just going to get on Netflix and or YouTube and just surf the the videos and all videos and all that and watch one because i was I'm getting kind of tired like i said but that's not what we're talking about today we're talking about something that's been on my chest for a long time and i need to get it out and i need to make a commentary about it and i need some answers to this if you guys know any information please leave it in the comment section below but let's get right into this okay this is called the denver airport conspiracy theory okay the runways are revealed to be laid out in a shape of a Nazi swastika. Um, Denver already had a fine airport, uh, Denver International, but despite uh, widespread protest, Denver International was built and opened in 1995 with a few runways, thus reducing Denver's capacity. Okay, questions about the government might be doing this uh, underground base may have been answered in 2007 when 14 commercial aircraft reporters spontaneously shattered windshields as it pursue results of electromagnetic pulses. Underground faculties exist to either hold detainees or the headquarters of the New World Order. The art of uh, DIA is really weird. It contains uh, weird alien languages, soldiers in gas masks, oppressing uh, peasants, and uh, Freemasons plaques. Okay, now, what, what it's trying to say pretty much is that um, there's, they built an airport, which they didn't need, like I said in the second little paragraph thing, Denver already has a fine airport, blah, 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 blah. Um, the, the old uh, airport was built in, originally built in 1929, uh, repeated, repeat, I'm just going to say repeat, because I can't pronounce the word, it's so small, I got my glasses, but... Uh, expanded for 65 years while I had six runways in total there were five they were in configuration of two seats and, and two sets of three parallel, parallel runways the two seats crossed each other meaning that there was only three runways could be used at any one time while DIA's five total runways do not cross they can be uh, simultaneous, simultaneously in addition only three of the uh, the international airport runways are ran to 10,000 feet, just barely long enough for the jets to take off uh, in the thin air. While DIA's runways support the largest jets current flying 12,000 through 16,000 feet. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, that's, that's freaking crazy, dude. Um, I, I done my research on the New World Order. And there is no such thing as the New World Order. That doesn't exist. And they signed it saying that they bought it. Didn't exist. And they were supposedly went over like $6,000 over budget, I think. Which is freaking crazy. Or no, $6 billion. If I, if I said million, I meant billion. Which is freaking uh, crazy. Woo! Alright, this gets even crazier. Woo! Oh my god. Alright, this one says, first, one must ignore what electromagnetic pulses or EMP actu actually is and does. The pulses themselves can affect elect electromagnetic or electronic, fuck I'm stupid, items and cannot damage glass or plastic. The only way glass shattering could be uh, linked to an EMP is if the pulse was caused by a nuclear explosion and the materials were hit in the blast slash uh, heat effect. If this happened, it would have uh, turned the entire airport into... Radioactive slags, not just shattered a few windows. The investigation concluded it was a high winds, uh, grit, and cold temperatures. Nine to fourteen, the planes had just tried to take off or just had landed. One had taken off, and four were at the gate. Denver's high winds and uh, arid plateau climate, with the lots of rocks, cracked windshields, are also very common for cars in Denver area as well. Most of the delight of everyone. <laughs> All right, now this right here, the there's a train that runs from various uh uh oh, I can't fucking read that word. I got my glass on. All the long words are so small. Whatever, let's just get that. Plus, supporting tunnels actually quite fun to ride. There are also automated baggage system built in 
as a part of DIA the system. What was that? The system was a money hammering nightmare that never worked, but the tunnel still exists. Cons conspiracy theory uh, is at a time displayed photos of the underground pathways with their rants. This was until a number of people pointed out that you could see larger portions of a convoy belt machinery in still in place. <sighs> Whew, this is freaking creepy. I don't, I don't even know if I believe it or if I don't believe it. I'm not really sure. It's freaking it's so weird, dude. Um, this was until a number of people pointed out you could see the larger portions of the convoy belt machinery. Or no, fucking convoy belt machinery still in place. An astonishing display of well, for ignorance, conspiracy theorists just deleted the photos. Why would they fucking delete the photos? Fucking retards. But, um, pr pretty much what it is, is, um, the, under that large amount of space, like I said before, it's supposed to be like a military base for VIP only or to hold detainees and whatnot. Um, it's, fr it's freaking weird though, dude. Like, I don't really understand why they would do that. Why wouldn't they just build one above ground and have like, armed guards standing outside hell I don't know the world will never know but um it's pretty much it for this commentary guys hope you enjoyed it I hope I taught you a few things here which probably nobody will probably watch this video or come across it because it's fucking four years old and it's a old ass theory but probably nobody probably cares about it anymore but if you do drop it a like and maybe you know drop me a subscribe button or drop me a fucking